Did I do it right? It did. It was good. Hey. We're, we're finally figured it all out. <laughs> um. Okay. So, everybody, this is Ellen Langford. <laughs> And uh, she lives in Jackson, and she is um, working from home like the rest of us. And, well, I'm in the gallery. I'm here all day by myself. And so, anyway, um, I'm surviving. And uh, I know the artists have um, really made adjustments, just like Ellen. So she's in her backyard, and I can hear the birds uh, tweaking or tweaking or whatever, you know. Is that okay? Sh should I move inside? No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. So, um, so, anyway... Um, I will post Ellen's uh, studio tour later today or in the morning. I just posted Mary's, kind of forgot. So uh, anyway, so that's been loaded and on Instagram already. So y'all take a look at that one after we're done. But uh, anyway, let's uh, kind of get started and I'll just start asking the questions and you just answer, you know, whatever comes in your mind and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So how did you become an artist? Tell us your personal journey getting there. Um, that's, that's a big question. Um, I was always one of those kids who, um, drew and created stuff and tried to build stuff. Although I, d I don't really have a mathematical mind. So those were never successful, but my dad was really encouraging of that stuff. Um, I had a fantastic high school art teacher. Yes. Really taught me, taught us a ton about art theory and art history, which I think are super important. Um, and you know, I got yeah. to meet her that day. You brought her to Oxford. That's right. That's right. Oh my gosh. So precious. And yeah. you know, these high school teachers don't realize what an impact well, she may have. She was pretty neat, but a lot of these teachers, yeah. and of course, you know, now everyone's at home and they're missing their teachers now. Right. What oh, absolutely these teachers have on yeah. um on these kids and that's awesome you had a good one sorry interrupt you no i think we have the same t-shirt on we do 15 dollars <laughs> here we go here we go yep. um, I had a yeah so betty mitchell was amazing <laughs> what were you gonna say i said i had a feeling you would have yours on but um i had a sweatshirt on and it was just too hot so i had to yeah <laughs> yeah um so after high school um my parents, especially my wonderful doctor father, told me that in no uncertain t terms would I study art. Um, and I went away to college and tried really hard to um, study the sciences, which he wanted us all to be doctors. And I was kind of disastrous at that. Um, so I ended up uh, with an undergraduate degree in world religions, but while I was um, studying that, which was an, is an amazing way to learn about the history of the world and people and humans. Um, while I was doing that, I studied, um, I was lucky enough to get a, a painting scholarship to Italy for a semester. I studied at the Corcoran in DC. Um, one summer, um, I spent a year at, at Ole Miss with, uh, I kind of spent my junior year abroad in <laughs> Oxford, Mississippi, um, at, and studied with Jerry Allen. Yeah. Um, and then after college, I, I always, you know, kind of worked um, jobs trying to find myself, what do I really want to be? Um, but it was always painting, always painting, always had a, a place set up to paint and um, studied more during those, my 20s, spent a year at the San Francisco Art Institute, um, studied in, in um, Guatemala, studied in New York, um, finally ended up being a paramedic, which I came back and, and did here um, until about 10 years ago. Yeah. And so I've, I've never not been an artist, I guess. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Well, it's, it's obvious you've had a lot of different influences by that, you know, description. But um, also, I've got this reflection, um, you um, still went back to your roots about yeah. where you live, the people around you. Um, obviously, you know, behind me are your paintings and um, the big one. I'll turn, it around. I'll turn the, the camera around just a minute because okay. this is my all-time favorite. Okay. Um, 
if I had room, and honestly, I might have to figure out some room in my house. I, I really wanted to go to someone's house first because I got I got lots of art. But um, this is one of my favorite. Just the girl's arms outstretched and praise, and it's just it's so good, so good. And a tiny little airplane. <laughs> I love tiny, I have friends who fly tiny airplanes and I just love them. They're yeah. like being in a little old Volkswagen up in the sky and can see all the beauty of the landscape and all its shapes and I love them. Yeah, well I know you've done that with your friend that yeah. um, has, a, has a plane, done it a lot. Yeah. All right, so before I jump into trying to describe your art, I'm going to let you I'm do a combined question okay. about um, this is driving me crazy. Um, your primary medium, along with your, because I think it all kind of co combines, really, your favorite imagery or subject matter. And okay. I'll dive into that and may not try to explain it. Yeah. Um, as a professional artist, my primary uh, medium is, has been, for a number of years, has been acrylic. And I use a really highly... Uh, archivally sound, good quality acrylic uh, made by Golden, a company called Golden. Um, and I like, I, I really love what you can do with acrylics and what I'm able to make happen with acrylics. Um, I'm starting to be concerned about the use of plastics in the planet. And so um, and I'm not positive that um, going back to oil, which I also love, um, it's just a, a different process, a different look is, mm -hmm. is the right answer for me. So I'm painting a ton with watercolor and gouache right now and yeah. trying to figure out how to get big with gouache. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are some back there. So I'm trying to figure out how to get bigger yeah. uh, uh, with watercolor and gouache to get that same fun, bold um, imagery. Yeah. With, with my bigger. And, and as far as um, subject matter, um, I don't know if you can see those guys over there. <laughs> the, those are my two Mississippi black dogs. Um, I paint a lot of, oh, they're really bright on those canvases. There are actually, there's actually stuff painted on those canvases back there. Um, uh, as a paramedic, I spent a ton of time um, all over the state um, and probably most significantly as far as um, visual storytelling in the Mississippi Delta, mm -hmm. but both rurally and in this urban environment of Jackson. Um, it, uh, you know, my, my work has become really highly narrative. It's all about storytelling. And yeah, those paramedic calls kind of, a, a lot of my work is kind of um, essentially about the connection between us as humans awkwardly in our environment, whether it be the wonderfully flat landscape of the Delta, um, but, or, you know, in kind of uh, in the woods and the cypress swamps, um, and usually with, you know, the dogs or other creatures that we share our lives with. And then the, the elements of um, clotheslines. There used to be a clothesline right there, but my son and his friends made it into a zip line <laughs> somewhat successfully and eventually it fell apart so yeah it's yeah. not there anymore and the chickens used to be right there too until yeah. the raccoons came recently and yeah ate they're them gone. up they're yeah. gone yeah you know the one thing i do love about your artwork is the narrative quality of it and even on the replication on the t-shirts you'll see the the girl the love girl and you yep because you can see the clothesline across there and the um uh the girl and maybe another structure right there. Anyway, yeah. the, the narrative quality, I think even if um, you are not from the South or wherever you might be, I think there's a way to place yourself into that, you know, into that story. That and seems I, to be my experience with people, yeah. their yeah. relationship to it. Yeah. Uh, I've had people from India, from, um, Central America from um, all, kind of all over the world say, have you, ha have you painted in wherever they're from and something about the color and something about the figures and something about the clotheslines um, speaks to them. Right. right? So, you know, 
they're not from the, the American South. Um, so yeah. yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Okay. So um, you, and I'm going to divert from my other questions. I'm, I might come back around to them in a minute, but um, one thing that, you know, I try to explain to everybody, I am a, I have a business degree. I don't have art. And we're very grateful that you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it gets in the way. Um, Cause I am more of the analytical kind of way. And I, sometimes I'm a little too straightforward and kind of bossy with some of y'all or with most of y'all. But, um, are but, you an Enneagram eight? You know, I've done it a couple of times and I'm type I had, I just, I'm like, I don't know. And then, um, my, my kids have told me what I am. Okay. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm a little, I got my issues. Um, we'll <laughs> see sometimes I don't like to follow rules so I don't really want to do the test yeah you don't have to do a test yeah uh, I did many of those before but you paint in a very different way that I had never really seen before and the first time I saw it it, it about um, it, it just amazed me and it was I was so intrigued by it and I still am intrigued by it because I'll see you do the demo and all of a sudden your fig your your story comes alive and i'm just like wait 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 wait. how did that happen so can you t tell people how explain to them better than i can because you know i can't okay explain to them paint that way and i'll say I just want to tell people there are some a couple of people who've made some comments and questions if y'all want to go ahead and, and throw those questions out and we'll do those at the very end okay that sounds good um and so can you sit on this a little bit? Because I think it's having a hard time focusing on you or your painting. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll, we can hear you. So just go ahead and answer my question. It'll, it'll get closer. Is that better? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing my mother's neck and I'm feeling very insecure about uh, it. <laughs> I forgot to put lipstick on. Some of them pale. <laughs> um, so I think what you're referring to is I often will um, make a, just like this kind of chaotic uh, mess going on and then I start to cut out um, the uh, it's using it's it's drawing but it's drawing by cutting out the negative shapes yeah around um, okay so here's the big one and you go okay. ahead and talk so it's 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 drawing but it's drawing by instead of uh, drawing the um, Oh, I'm blanking on all my words. Uh, the individual figures. Okay, of, yeah. Of a, of an Im of a. Your subject matter. You're drawing by um, using the the negative shapes around uh, an object. Um, like uh, I'm looking at my dog right now, and what I'm seeing is the shapes created by um, the space between his legs and between where his legs hit. Uh, He's doing it great right now. Can you see him? <laughs> you see that? Yeah. yeah. You see those shapes right there? And the same so as on my I, screen, too. It's kind of fun. Yeah. There we go. There he is. Um, so I cut out um, with a big flat brush or even with scrumbling with a, a smaller brush. Um, and, yeah, so instead of drawing with uh, contour lines that plane, that was probably a big uh, – black mass behind there that I went and cut in with a larger, um, probably flat ed edged brush around it, creating that kind of cloud um, image. And then suddenly yeah. there's an airplane up there. And yeah. it's kind of fun. And um, it, it allows me to kind of layer and layer and layer, and cover stuff back up and uh, sand back in, especially on the canvases and on paper. And then you, you have, you kind of never know what's going to happen. There's well, something. so tell me a little bit more about, um, and I'm just going to, you know, you know, I just get so intrigued by your work. So I'm just going to jump into these different questions. Tell me a little bit more about how, um, like on this one, the girl's leg and even on the one above it, uh -huh. see how like the feet, how the body was really long and the feet seem to be a little bit exaggerated as how big they are. Well, I, I, I wear a women's 13. So, so, <laughs> Those so, are the real size. <laughs> they're not, that's right. They're not super exaggerated, but I, I'm just, I'm really drawn to a strong base. I yeah. often make my, my dog's feet um, a little too solid. Although now 
our new like the new Mississippi black dog mutt we have his feet are huge so that's kind of exciting um I, j I really like a strong base so I'll, I'll often make the hands a, a little more exaggerated too kind of not intentionally but I'm not but I also don't change it I don't uh, correct it so I, I really like that I yeah, love so how, how tiny that is you've did, been doing some a lot yeah of oh my drawing, gosh which is not what I need to be doing now that I'm mostly wearing readers to do it um, and I also have my <laughs> mother's big old magnifying block that she used I think for needlepoint <laughs> so for that one if you want to go back to that oh, little yes little one you can see in the dark um, how it was almost all one um, big swashy big brush like I probably used a big like yeah big, big painters brush and then I went back in with uh, with the white or white and a little yellow ochre or something and found those tiny spaces um, between between the dog and the creature and kind of create that uh i wish you could i wish i could point to it with my hand but um, where do you I, i'd point to it also where, where do you want me to um, point like the space between the back of the dog and the house that funny like yeah like there like how it's it's almost um my almost nails look terrible <laughs> it um to me that really kind of anchors that that section of the painting because it's yeah. solid um, but you don't even think of that as its own shape, its own space. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the one below it, and that's okay. that large paper. We framed it, and um, so there's going to be some reflection. Let me move this out of the way. Yeah. So this one I did, this is actually plain air. This is, uh, this is in gouache and watercolor. This is down at Mays Lake, um, what, two months ago when we, it was right as the water was starting to, um, uh, rise in Jackson things were getting a little scary and I went down to Mays Lake thinking I would drive to the boat ramp and um paint the the pearl couldn't get to the boat ramp um and so uh Ollie and I um this the that lab mix there um <laughs> parked kind of uh between the camping area and where you normally drive to the boat ramp and just set up next to my truck and painted a few of these yeah. and uh, I just love the cypress just sitting there looking like, kind of looking like the awkward figures that I, I love to paint with the big Oh, paint. yeah. Yeah. Um, That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. That's yeah. so true. You know, um, you know, this is on paper. We, we put yeah. this frame around it because we had an extra one. The like frame the company, the frame company sent us two. We only needed one. And they didn't, they said for us just to keep it. So we kept it. Right. And so I pulled it out and I said, you know, I really like, and I'm not one to do a lot of ornate around like a paper piece or whatever, right. but I just thought it was really interesting. The, um, just the texture in the frame and it's kind of dressy to a, where you have all that wood and, yeah. um, now, I don't know. I thought it was just really neat. I, love I, think, it, yeah. just, I so, think that's working great. Yeah. I'm not, one, I, I am not a framer. Um, and I'm, I, you know, my hat's off to Amy because, and, and all of y'all who can do framing because I can't yeah. and I'm, I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to show just a couple more of these paper pieces, then we'll get to the questions. Okay. So, um, these, well, you know, of course we've got these little tiny ones, which, um, yeah, I just love those. Those are really good. So these figures you did, I got to move something or I'm going to knock them all down. Sorry. Um, this is my favorite. Yay. But the others have a different color palette. Yeah. So that. That's my then, favorite. Oh, yeah. That one. I love that expression. Oh, so good. And then that one. So I think they're just so, so interesting um, how you got those. And then over here, they're all the black and white. So I love the Ferris wheel. That's like the state fair or something like that. Oh, fair oh, fair dog. Is it a fair day? I thought that was yeah. interesting. <laughs> And then that quail mm -hmm. or, or pheasant. I can't remember what you said. I can't remember. <laughs> that, that was there a commission go. gone wrong. Oh, well, we got <laughs> lucky. We got it. Somebody will <laughs> love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get to the questions. Okay. And um, let's see. Let's go down. Let me start from the first ones that arrived. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Shelby Lee just said she loves watching all these live talks. Some, 
Uh, got some hellos and some thumbs up. And then, um, oh, okay. Deb Tubb said, Barbara Eaton was my teacher and changed my career path in high school. Yay. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah, Barbara's, she, Barbara's in the gallery. She makes these clay um, figurines, but they're whistles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah they're so great. interesting. Yeah. And then let's see. There's an, I knew there was another question in here somewhere. Give me a minute. Um, yeah, this is when they when you start talking about the, the um, painting from the negative space and okay. the artsy. Artsy Katie said that's such an interesting way of painting, and I mean I still get amazed by seeing seeing you do that. Okay, um, Deb Tubb asked, do you typically paint in series or random storytelling through paint? So, can you say it again? Do you typically paint in series or random storytelling through paint? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I would say both. I, I think um, I, I, I paint obsessively. Like I, I can, I'm really lucky that that's um, that people buy my work because I, mm -hmm. I, I paint all the time. And a lot of it seems to be part of this kind of million piece series um and just recently there's another kind of series coming out of the the figures on the world um that it just also is pop popping up and um yeah somebody alluded to that they said um you're a sharon mulligan studio she's she's from long beach okay she, sharon yeah. I, I can't remember um she said your around the world series is wonderful she said she really liked thank that. you thank you yeah um, Let's see. Did you want to say anything else before I asked you? I, I, th I don't know how to answer that. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are the Mississippi bugs becoming part of your paint medium? The Mississippi bugs? Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they end up in there physically. <laughs> <laughs> and she, this is from Okalela Creek Pottery, and you know who she is. Do I? Do you know who? Yes. Maria? Oh, hey, Maria. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wish I could do plein air like she does. Oh, yeah. she does good. She's a good. You'll have to message her directly because she says she went up to do these live videos. So we're going to put a big guilt pressure on her right now on live Instagram to talk her into doing it because she would be so good. Let's well, see what she has to say. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's all the, those questions that people sent in. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, okay. This is the last one I usually do for everybody. Okay. Why do you paint? Why not another career? Um, that's a great question. Um, at this point, I, um, uh, let's see. Well, I'll tell you the reason that I went full time as a painter, um, as I, I, I was, I was a paramedic for a little over a decade, um, mm -hmm. and was thinking of, cause, uh, I love being a paramedic. It's a little hard on the body. And, you know, as we age, there, there are things to take oh, into consideration. Yeah, yeah, so I was trying yeah. to figure out what to do. Um, and it was a time where um, I had some custody issues going on and my mother was going through um, some major dementia decline. And I couldn't work 24-hour, 48-hour shifts. I couldn't even work the 12-hour the shifts that you could do here in Jackson Um but you can't get off the ambulance in a 12 hour period. I had to be available all the time. And I took the leap. I was already selling really, I was already making more as a painter than I was, bless you, <laughs> <laughs> as a paramedic. Um, and I took the leap and thanks to you and my other gallery owners and the people who seem to com you know, communicate with my work, um, I'm very grateful that th that is why I do this full time. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I think that, um, you know, that, um, let's see, let's see anybody else, that um, once you kind of give up the other, the, the other distractions, it, and, I've, and I've had these conversations with other artists as well, when you give up those um, distractions, it's, it's kind of fearful to do it, and there's a lot of anxiety involved. Well, sure. But, but it, it finally lets you focus on what really you're created to do. 
So, yeah. well, I think, I think it's super important to take yourself seriously as well, whatever you do. Um, but, but for artists, you know, it's, there's some challenges in the world to taking yourself seriously as an artist. And, um, that's to me that, that, um, is the key to making mm -hmm. it work. Yeah. Yeah. Like wood. Yeah, exactly. All right. We had a couple more questions Let me, or statements. Let's see. Okay. Um, someone said, I'd love to watch you paint and we'll, we're going to have you back in the gallery to paint. Yeah. And um, y'all have a video of me painting, um, on your YouTube channel, I yeah. think. And this is, this will be loaded on the YouTube channel and we have all the demos of all the artists we've done or we've tried yeah. we did a really good job of getting all those posted over the past year or two on the YouTube channel. So if you want to see a demo, go to our YouTube ch channel, the, the Karen Gallery, and you can see it there. Um, let's see. Pocket full of sage, tuned in late. Would you please show the large pieces I see behind you? Okay, I'll turn around just a second. And then um, let's see. I'm going to turn this around real quick. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see. Oh, someone said, SJW365 said, thank you for the design you created for the Mississippi Orchestra, Symphony Orchestra. Oh, you're welcome. So Kraft Beck, the conductor, is, a, is one of my dear, dear friends, and it was definitely an honor to, to be asked to do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it show your art instead of me trying to t turn back around. Let's see if there's it. Uh, Christy Faree said, I uh, love your work. Okay, thank and you. Libba Wilkes sent a face with heart eyes. <laughs> love you, Libba, so much. Uh, well, you know what? You have had a great following today, and it's been awesome to see all the questions. And I hope that um, people will, um, if they didn't get, if they got in late, you, I'm going to save it to stories, and it'll be there for okay. 24 hours. And so they go to Instagram, to this Instagram yes. channel, whatever it is. And well, if you, it'll be in story. So if you're okay. on Instagram, when you click on the logo, you, you can either look at the story feed or the live story. Okay. Then I'm going to rec I'll record it and post it to Facebook. No, well, I will post it to Facebook. I'll try. I've had a hard time posting any videos on Facebook this week. And anyway, but I'll put it on a YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, well, and then, so if you missed it, it'll be here on this for another uh, 24 hours. And Good church Marshall. Yeah. Sorry, Linda. Do you know Marshall's work? Kim, you've got to check it out. Church Going Mule. I follow. I follow. Yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> work. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I interrupted you. No, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that you could see it come up at the same time. So. Well, mostly I haven't been looking. Well, I think I, I spaced out. <laughs> well, I think that that's why I've tried to... Um, <laughs> I've tried to um, just say I'll I'll do it at the. At